Instead of shots of vodka, we're doing shots of Pepto Bismol. This is an extreme food tour. What's going on guys? It's John coming to you from Jackson Heights, Queens, and I've got a special guest today. I hope you guys came hungry. This guy has his own blog. He's been covering the Queens food beat for more than 10 years. It's called Chopsticks and Marrow. He's also been on the Travel Channel. Now we're gonna bring in our guest star for this episode, Joe DiStefano. And Joe, why did you take us to Jackson Heights out of all the neighborhoods we could have possibly went to in Queens? It's called Himalayan Heights because there's so many Tibetan, Bhutanese, and Nepalese restaurants. And that's that's just one of the reasons I've taken you guys here. And really, it's home to a lot of hidden gems. Indian chat station on the side. Tibetan station on the right. So, we've ordered a little chat or uh, Hindi snack off of the Indian menu. Okay. We ordered an order of Sev Puri, so we'll see what that is in a moment. So, we have half an order of uh, Sev Puri, and half an order of Dahi Puri, which has the yogurt on it. And so this is a type of Indian snack called Chaat. There are many different varieties. And you see it's filled with all sorts of wonderful liquid, Chickpeas and potatoes. I'm gonna go in. It's just I dripping right now. Go for it. Mm. That's lovely. Cool, refreshing, a little bit of heat, crunchiness. Man, look at those juices there. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, now we're doing a sev puri. Toast. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Next on this Himalayan Heights food tour, we have our first hidden gem, and Joe's gonna describe why exactly we're walking through a cell phone store to get some food. All right, Joe, so we're getting a new cell phone today? Well, no. <laughs> As your culinary sherpa for the guy for the day today, uh, one of my favorite places is Lhasa Fast Food, which, uh, like Shangri-La itself, it's a bit of a journey to get to. So let's uh, take a walk through the cell phone store. The Lhasa Fast Food. Let's see, well, if you come in, cell phone store. You can see Lhasa Fast Food right back there. One thing that has struck me so far during this tour, and we've only been to two spots, is that both of these restaurants have been full of local people from the countries that we're eating their food from. And Joe, what does that say about these restaurants? When I go eat Thai food in Queens, I'm eating among Thai people. Everything, it's like, it's as close as you can get to eating in somebody's kitchen. Juicy beef dumplings packed with uh, beef and herb. And it's super, super popular in Tibet. These just came out, they're piping hot. I'm actually afraid of them. <laughs> Slip the juice out thusly so it doesn't explode all over you. All right, let's see if I was paying attention to that. Probably won't work, but let's see. Try to get the juice out as Jill explained. I actually got most of it out. Very good too. I think I can eat like 50 of these. As we walk to our next stop, uh, a point I wanna make is the second I stepped off the subway here in Himalaya Heights, the smells from the restaurants overpowered me in probably one of the best ways I've ever remembered. It smelled so good the second that I stepped off that train and walked down the stairs, and it's been a good experience so far. This corner here is the demarcation zone, so on the corner we have Colombia and La Abundancia, spicy Tibet, all fronted by a uh, Taco Salgero, a Mexican food court. And as we go down this plot, it just gets more and more and more Latino, as we'll see. 
Bienvenidos amigos, aquí on Arepa Arepa Lady Colombiana. We're here beginning the South America part of the South Asia, South America tour with uh, a classic of Jackson Heights street food, the Arepa Lady. Please, let's go inside. This is Arepa de Choclo. A little garlic sauce. Get a good close up. Just salty cheese. Mm -hmm. What makes it different is there's a little more corn in the shell. Hence the color. I'm super excited to try this. Let's see how it goes. This is probably my favorite thing so far. As I was nice. telling you, I love Latino food. So soft. And just the right amount of cheese. I thought it was too much at first, but mm -hmm. I think it really complements the arepa. Aquí, aquí tenemos cuy, aka guinea pig. Guinea pig. Yes, sir. We can save that one for the next video. Next on the Latin American tour, we're just getting more and more hidden. First, we went through a cell phone store. Now, we're going through a bodega. Yes. We're gonna head into the back of the Roosevelt Deli Corporation to La Esquina del Camarón Mexicano. Vamos! Are you sure I'm skinny enough for this? That's going to the Cameron Mexicano. We're about to have one of Don Pedro's wonderful mixed seafood cocktails. So that's a little bit of shrimp, a little bit of pulpo octopus going in. Mm. So good. A lot of ingredients in the liquor of this thing. Clam juice, olive oil, orange juice, tomato juice. A lot going on. I want everyone to remember that we are in the back of a bodega right now. Literally, there are people stocking shelves as we enjoy fantastic Mexican food. Only in Queens. I think it's equally as important for someone from Chicago or from someone from the Upper West Side of Manhattan to visit this neighborhood. You know, here we see, you just about here, the International Express going by overhead. You know, it's a wonderful neighborhood, so much diversity. Today we've had the chance to experience food from India, Tibet, Mexico, and Colombia, all without ever whipping out a passport. It's just awesome, and we just scratched the surface of it. The subway awaits me back to Manhattan, but the trip to Jackson Heights was totally worth it. Special thanks to Joe DiStefano one more time. If you want to check out his blog, Chopsticks and Marrow, I'm going to link to it below. He also has food tours, as he mentioned, so definitely take a look into that if you want a different kind of New York City experience. Guys, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. We've got weekly travel vlogs just like this one and tips videos coming out looking to help you guys travel smarter. Hope you all enjoyed my first ever episode just on food. Be a part of where you go. Thanks for watching. And if I can dance, I will buy a telephone.